Regulation, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming from Beckley's Camping Center today. And boy, am I excited to bring you the all new 2020 Avia by New Camp RV, a Pleasant Valley trailer company. Uh, this is exciting. We've been waiting a long time. You probably have seen the prototypes and this version that we have here today is even different than the one you saw back a few months ago. There are several different changes. And by the way, I'll have all the specs, pricing, as well as my contact information down below this video as well as at the end of the video. So. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you do ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. Do appreciate you watching, but let's get on to this video. So this is what you're looking at as you walk in here. Now you're gonna have two air conditioners. You're gonna have one in the roof, low profile, Coleman Mach AC, as well as a 6,000 BTU Air 8 that's gonna blow throughout the coach as well. Okay, so now you can see the roof of your Vea. You see the low profile air conditioner. You see your skylights for the bathroom with those vents. Notice how you don't have to put an antenna up and down. You're only gonna have two seams on this roof, basically. Well, I say on the roof, it's all about for the one-piece fiberglass right there before, right after the window on the front. And then on the back, you'll see it just below your camera. You can also see your nice large solar panel on the roof give you plenty of power to recharge your batteries, to extend your camping capabilities, boondocking that is. So taking a look at the outside of this Avia, as you can see, it's very European, very sleek looking coach. Now the specs I say, I will, as I mentioned, I'll have those down below as well as at the end, but you're looking at roughly a 28 foot tip to tip length trailer, gross weight 7,000 pounds. Your dry weight, the way it's sitting here right now with the options on it and the equipment is right at about 5,600 pounds. With a tongue weight, it's going to be about 700 pounds, but then you're going to have to add for propane and then anything else you're going to be putting in your RV. Now on your door side, you can see they actually listed, they tell you your battery disconnect is in here. Notice your slam latches with magnetic uh, holder to hold it up. This is where your battery disconnect is going to be. And then you have a light switch right here. And let me show you what that light switch turns on and turns off. So up in the front here, you have two lights. One's going to be on either side. So there, if you need to uh, be coming, if you get to a campsite late at night, you're going to be able to see your unhooking and so forth. But you're also going to be able to walk around on this side and be able to see where you need to hook up things because you have a light right here. And that'll be able to, so you can hook up your water, you can hook up your cable and your electric. Now they made life simple for you because this tongue jack, not only is it for your tongue jack, but it's also for your stabilizers. So it makes it easier for you to get each individual stabilizer jack and then your tongue jack. So you're just going to be extending or retracting or it's off. So it makes it very user friendly. Now they do clearly state right here what these are for. The tongue jack is the only thing used to level it that'll level it from front to back. The others are just stabilizers. Now up in the front here, 
you're gonna have some storage, but this is also where you're gonna be able to get to your LP bottles. Notice how that opens up quite nicely, has that strut. You're gonna notice you have a full-size spare with matching rims, two 30-pound tanks in here, and then of course, you, have, you can store your sewer hose, your electrical cable, water hose, all kinds of things right up here. It is automatic switch over for your LP bottles. It's right up top there. So that is the storage up front. So this is looking down the door, off door side of your camper. You see it has nicely, deep, deeply tinted windows. So that way there, if you want to have them open, you're, you're still going to have some privacy. Up above your kitchen window, that's where your vent is for over top of your cooktop. So that's right there. You're going to notice maintenance panels there for the refrigerator on the inside, also for ventilation. Nice thing is you have a black tank flush, so you can rinse out your black tank after you empty it. And the cool thing is you have this outside shower. A couple of reasons why this outside shower is beneficial to you. One, unlimited width and height. For those of you that want to use it outside, just be careful of neighbors. But the other thing is, for cleaning your hose and so forth after you're done dumping. As you can see, it's right back here. Now they made a, ma now they made a major change for the storage. This door is actually a lot taller and they increase the size also going through here as well. Now you notice there's a light in there and there's a light switch on the other side. Now the door opening on these on both sides is going to be 20 inches wide by 14 inches tall. You can see that the light does illuminate very well in there and being on the door side that's more than likely where you're going to be in the evening and you can just turn it on from over there. Now, as you can see inside, it's a little bit wider than the, than the actual opening of the door itself. So your opening on the inside is 23 and a half inches wide by 15 inches tall. Looking at the back of the coach, And you can see the, your rear observation camera, and you can adjust that so you can see closer or for, further away from your coach. So on your door side, you're going to have outside stereo speakers. Now you're going to have lights, LED light strip. It's going to be in the entire length of your awning out here. The other LED lights you're going to have is you're going to have lights in your door handle here. And you can see it maybe the reflection in the sidewall there, as well as down below your step. You can see it runs there, so you're actually gonna be able to see where you're stepping in the evening. Now you also have 110 outlets out here, so you're able to plug some things in out here that you wanna use. Keep in mind that the sidewalls they're using comp Asdale composite paneling that's very critical and a major benefit to you. They're not using Luon, which is a wood-based product. The door, I'm sure you remember this door that you see in the Tab 400s and so forth. Nice little cubby holes. You've got the window with the shade. It's deeply tinted. You can have privacy if you want. You can use this to store bags, you can use it as a little trash can, you've got your fire extinguisher, and then of course, lastly, you do have your screen door for those beautiful days and you want to have your door open. So right here by the door, this is where you can control your Aldi system. It's a 320HE, so that'll be for your water heater as well as your furnace. And this is where you can check your tank sizes, fresh water, black and gray. And then over here, this is where you control all your lights. And you can shut things off, all the lights off right at this location. And then you have to turn them on individually. Here you have your water pump, 12 volt fridge, your under cabinet lights, and then your awning light. Now if you want to shut off the backlight for this because you're going to be having somebody sleeping up here, 
you could just shut it off and still have the lights in the on position. So that's what that looks like there. Now their new Furion stereo system, they actually have a cover you can put over it. That way there you can block the light. But the cool thing about this is that it has four zones and you can control them individually just by pushing this and then now if I want to control all the zones I can control it right here that'll do all the zones but then I can push it to go to one I can go to two three and four it's all very simple and it's also Bluetooth capable so you can hook it up directly to your uh, music source Now you have a 24 inch TV up here, and then you also have connections, HDMI and USB that go directly to the TV. And if you wanted to, you can plug something else here if you wanted to, DVD player, Blu-ray player, whatever. It gives you a 110 outlet, or even you might even want to use that counter space for an appliance. Notice also with the outlet you have USB ports as well for charging your phones and so forth. These, This stuff here goes directly to your TV. This is just a power source for charging things or turning things on. Now you're going to notice down below these, and by the way all these cabinets, they have a little lever here to unlock. And under here... Okay, so the other cool thing on this uh, where this microwave is that is actually on a slide out drawer so you see it slides out that far still have room to get into it but that is where how far it slides out if you wanted it to now also under here you have a little switch that's right here this switch will turn on and shut shut off your subwoofer which is down below your dinette there. So that is right there. Now also in this area, back here you're going to see that tube. That is a bleeder tube for the Aldi system. So if you ever need to bleed the system, that is where you will bleed it, which is again right up underneath here. So looking at your dinette booth area, as you can see you have windows, you have three windows on the sides, so you're able to see all around your camper, as well as the stargazing window above, so you watch sunrise, sunset, you can watch the stars, look at how much scenic look you have around the dinette. Now something that has changed from the last one, you're not going to see any curtains anymore. They took out the curtains that were in the previous models. Okay, so you said you want some privacy. Well, that's great. Just like in the Tab uh, 400 and the Tab and Tag series, you can see how you can pull up the shades and have total privacy there. You're also going to notice stereo speakers, and they do sound awesome. You have one on either side here. You have the subwoofer down below your dinette there then you have two speakers outside as well as two speakers in the bedroom and you can set those for the different zones now you're also going to notice back behind your dinette is you have two of these you have 110 outlets along with USB so the one's going to be on the off door side as well as one on the door side and you've got nice little counter space up there so you can lay your phone or your iPad or I you know Whatever you have charging, you can set back up there. And then you have these lights here, which are, you can have them as reading lights, or you can have them as a little blue new uh, night light. I don't know if you're able to see that blue there. Or you can just have them off. So you have one of those on either side of the dinette. Now another thing you're going to notice in here is how well the cabinetry is and see how easy it is to open up these cabinets. They're self-opening. They have a little strut on them and they self-lock so that way there as you're driving down the road you're not going to have things falling out of your cabinets. Again, high quality Amish cabinetry work that you're going to see when you're in this camper. You'll have another one 
on the off door side. Notice how it opens itself. Nice little storage in there. And you have a little light because of the nice light up above the cabinet. So you'll be able to see what is in, in your cabinet when you're trying to reach for it in the evening. Now, as a bed, this is going to give you, it's going to be 50 inches wide, meaning front to back, and then side to side, 79 inches in length. So, if you need to have guests, you've got an extra bed. So, this is what it looks like with all the cushions off of the dinette area and the table down. Now, as you can see, each they have all these different compartments. Now, they're not all storage. So let me show you what is storage and what is not in this area. So starting on the door side, these two compartments are going to be storage. And you're going to notice that you'll be able to get to this storage area from the outside. And there's also a battery disconnect right there in the light switch and I'll show you what that is when we get on the outside but this is the storage on the door side now going on the off door side this first one this is going to be storage for you as well now these two others right here this is actually where your air aid is located as you can see right there. You also have your inverter. You can see that back there. So you can see your inverter back there. And this also has, for your solar panel, there's two fuses on that blue thing right there. So if you're having an issue with your solar panel, you might want to check the fuses right in there. This is also where your subwoofer is right here. And then this is going to be your batteries. So you have two AGM batteries in here, and they're vented to the outside. And these are, you know, no maintenance style um, AGM batteries. Now, when you want to go ahead and bring this table up, and it's going to be just the opposite when you're putting it down, there's a little lever under here, you're going to pull it this way. You pull it back here, it'll stop halfway up, you pull it again, and it goes all the way up. Now, you also have another lever under here, which allows you to move this table from side to side, as well as front to back. Now another thing I like about how they designed this is the table itself. Uh, as you can see, there's not much room for me to get in and out of here, but they designed it in a fashion where you can make it easier. All you gotta do is reach underneath, unlock it, and you can see it'll slide that direction, it'll slide this direction, it'll also slide backwards. So you're able to slide it in all these different directions. You can even slide it out, so for somebody sliding in the back there. And then of course you saw how it uh, goes up and down. So once you get in the position you want it, you lock it in place and you're good to go. Now your second air conditioner is going to be this rooftop air conditioner which is going to blow front and back and then you have an additional vent right here which you can turn and you can blow it forward, you can blow it sideways, you can blow it to the rear. Whichever works and that controls just like in, in a pop-up or in another travel trailer. Now in your kitchen, you're going to notice that you've got these drawers here. So this one's going to be shallow. Now notice you have a little latch so that it'll lock the drawer closed. Again, so that they, they close and latch themselves. Notice how much deeper that particular one is. Then you're going to have two large pot pan drawers that open up. You have this one here and the one below it. And then all the way down the bottom there, you're going to notice that does not have a latch. But what this is for, this is where your Aldi system is located. So you're going to have your low point drains in here for the Aldi system, as well as your temperature control. That's all right underneath in this area. Now ladies, you're really going to like what they've done for you here in the, in the kitchen, because now you have a nice little spice rack here. So that's a small one. And then right on the opposite side of the refrigerator, that's where you have your big ones. So there are your pantry or spice racks and so forth. 
Okay, so your, for your refrigerator freezer, this is a three-way refrigerator. You're gonna have your 12 volt, you have, uh, so which is gonna be your battery. You also have the propane and 110. Now what you do is you're gonna be selecting that up top here. It comes on and you can just go through and select which one you want. Right up there, and then you can select your temperature along here. Now inside here, this is gonna be your refrigerator area. Down below, this is more like a crisper. And I'll show you that in a moment. And then up top here, you have your freezer, and it comes with its own little ice maker, which is awesome. So I'll give you a little closer look at this. So this is your crisper down below. You can keep your adult beverages, milk. Um, you can keep vegetables down there. This is what the refrigerator looks like. Goes to lighting up top, and then your freezer. Now, as I had mentioned earlier, this has two different air conditioning systems on it. One is going to be the Air 8 by Elway Corporation, and what you have is this is going to be your thermostat for this one. Now, where you're going to have the air blowing out, and I showed you earlier where that was underneath the dinette, you'll have air blowing out up above your dinette for this one, you'll have it up above your refrigerator, and then lastly, you'll have it blowing back here in the bedroom area. Now the cool thing about this, and I'll link a video down below on how to operate this particular thermostat, but this one has, you have the air conditioning, you also have a dehumidifier on here, which is awesome. So I will go over that in detail in my video linked down below. Now you have good counter space in, uh, for, um, for cooking and for your sink area here. Nice little high rise faucet. Notice also you're gonna have three burners, not just two, different size burners, and adequate storage or adequate counter space when you're making a meal. I know you're saying, Paul, there has to be more storage here, and there is. Now this could be, you could have this as additional um, clothing storage, or you can make this for additional pantry, or both. It's a rather large closet right there. Okay, so maybe you want to have some, some guests here, or maybe you know you want to have them come in and come to a cocktail or for dinner, but you don't want to go ahead and have them see the back of your coach. Well, you actually have two pocket doors that open up here, and that blocks what you have in the back. So it gives you a little bit of privacy. You want to use the bathroom, use the shower, or if you're having company, maybe someone's sleeping up here, you're sleeping in back, gives you some separation. Now, you're gonna have a toilet and shower. You have a shower on this side, you have the toilet on this side, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. But what they've done is to make it easier for you, kind of like what they had in the old Rialtas, is where you can actually pull the wall to actually give you more room when you step inside of here. And then it has the privacy doors Or you're right there and then you're able to just push it right back in place so this is what it's looking like as you're walking back this way you have your shower on this side and you're going to notice it has fans in the ceiling now this fan here the nice thing about this fan is you can hear it turning on you don't have to have a window open when you're operating that it just pushes up and you can operate that in the rain and it'll exhaust the, the fumes from the shower. So that is right here in the shower area. So you see they have a little step up right there, making it nice for those that need to shave your legs and so forth. Places where you put some soap, some hand towels on the sides and so forth. Nice little European style shower head. And there's a little light button right here. Turns on the light up above there. And of course the skylight, which is adding to the headroom as well as the lighting in that area. Now as far as headroom in here, it's about 77 inches from floor to ceiling in here. And then as you go into the shower area, because you have a little step up, but you do have the skylight there, you have about 76 inches in height in the shower. In the toilet area, you're gonna have almost a little bit over 81 inches because of the skylight in there. 
So you can see the floor space when it's pushed back in place there, but take a look when you pull it out, see how much more floor space you have in, in, inside that room. Give you another vantage point for this toilet and bathroom area. You're gonna see the sink folds up behind the toilet there. Have a nice little towel rack to the right. Nice little cup holders to the left. And I like a soap dispenser to the right over there. Let me show you the sink area. So the sink, I'm sure you probably have seen the sink in the, in the tab 400. Very, very sim uh, similar. You're going to see back over here, you have a GFI protected 110 outlet. And then, of course, your light switch. Now to fold this up, all you're doing is you're going to push that back up. That folds up just like that. Now, of course, you have the mirror back behind here. And as you can see on either side, medicine cabinet. Now, the cool thing on this medicine cabinet is how it locks. You have a little, you have to squeeze a little button here in order to open it up. Otherwise, it will not open. Again, leaving your valuables inside of there while you're traveling down the road. And you have another vent fan in here. Again, you just push up, turn it on, and you do not have to have a window open for this style of a fan. And you can operate it in, in climate weather. If it's raining outside or snowing, you can open that and it will exhaust what you need exhausted in this room. Now, moving into the bedroom, this mattress here is actually 78 inches long and it's 59 inches wide, so it's pretty much pretty close to being a queen bed. Now, you do have storage under this, and it's quite impressive storage to say the least. So notice how the bed, it lifts up and it has the struts there to hold it up. And look at all that storage you have under the bed. Also looking what is underneath of the, your mattress for the bed. This is a Euro slat uh, designed to give you the comfort when you're sleeping on, on this mattress. Now, of course, you can always upgrade your mattress and so forth. And you can see the motor that's back behind there that will be raising and lowering the bed. Of course, you saw it with the mattress on it, with it lifted up. This is what you're looking at now with no mattress on it. So let's just take a brief look through the bedroom. As you can see, you have storage up above on both sides above the window. You have actually cabinets above the bed. And of course, again, three windows back here with the, with the uh, privacy shades or the screens. And then you can see shelving on either side of the bed with um, USB or 110 outlets. Now the storage on this side, again, you have that lock on there. You see you have the storage inside here. Now notice it's cut out there, so because of your storage here, but again, good storage for you. And then up above your bed, just gotta make sure you push in the middle because it has locks on either side. And of course it has the strut that opens up the door. Where there you, and it holds it up, that way you're not having to use your head to hold it up. Again, you're gonna notice you have these little lights back here so it can be blue, or you can have it as a reading light. And they're gonna have one on either side. You're gonna notice you have the stereo speakers back here if you wanted to listen to stereo or if you were watching a movie. Now right here you have your remote control for your fantastic fan in the bedroom. And let me show you what that looks like. So now when operating this fantastic fan, what you want to do is make sure that you have a window open or the, even the vents in the, in the bathroom to have it draw air because otherwise you're going to put too much pressure on the motor and it will shorten the lifespan of this fantastic fan. If you want to be able to operate this in, the, uh, in climate weather, make sure you put the proper fan cover over top of it. Now, as you can see on here, you can set this to come on manually or you can manually turn it on or have it automatically according to temperature. And you can have it going with the air coming in or air going out. If you're having it pull the air out, that is when you have to have some other window or vent open in order to allow it to pull some air. 
Now you have your lighting back here in the bedroom, but you also have so that this bed can move up or down. So it's laying flat right now, but let's say you wanted to sit up and watch a movie. Okay, so you want to go ahead and be able to relax, maybe sit up, read a book, or maybe you want to go ahead and uh, watch a movie. Or maybe you just want to have extra room to walk around the bed. So you have this button right here, and what you're able to do is put the bed up, it's gonna move it up, you're able to push this mattress back a little bit, gives you, it's moving it backwards, as well as tilting the bed in the up position. And there you have it, now you're able to sit back, relax, watch a movie, read a book. It's that easy. So now you can see coming into the bedroom, now you have more room to get around on the sides here. So this is kind of with the bed down. And basically what you have is you have about nine inches between that cabinet and the corner of the bed with it down. Versus now you have 13 inches to be able to walk around that bed where you have those cabinets. So that is the space you have with it up. So right here on the wall by your dinette booth is gonna be, this is gonna be switches for your awning. This is for your inverter. Now the inverter is going to work a couple different outlets in your in your coach. And this switch right here, this is for your light switch below for the lights below the uh, the, the uh, entry steps. Now the cool thing on this awning is you have to have it on in order for it to work. But you just push the button one time, and it's either going to extend or retract. You don't have to sit in here and hold the switch. Now, for those of you that do decide to purchase the Avia, 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 however you want to pronounce it, they're going to have this little gift box inside the RV. And what it is, it's a little congratulations and welcome, and you're going to actually receive a nice bottle of wine from one of their, actually, well, they're going to actually ship you three of their award-winning wines from a particular winery up there by New Camp. Now you must be 21 years or older to get that, but that is right inside of your RV. Now for those of you that purchase this, they also have it set up for the Voyager digital uh, monitor and uh, what we would call observation camera. Not a backup camera. Backup cameras only work while you're backing up. But the beauty of this one is you can actually watch what's behind you as you're driving down the road, which is awesome. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 2020 Avia by New Camp RV. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do put some comments down below if you feel there was something uh, you have some additional questions about this unit. Maybe there was something I didn't cover, or maybe something you need a better explanation of. Be more than happy to try to uh, answer those questions. Give me a thumbs up if you're liking what you're seeing, and uh, for more information on this camper or any other RV, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you do ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. I do appreciate you watching, and I'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care.